Okay, well, listen, best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Every day it's so wonderful and suddenly it's hard to breathe. I am beautiful. Hello, in every single way. This love can bring me down. Hello. So don't you bring me down. Take that thing, miss. Tell her when I sing that thing, miss. Tell her when I sing that thing, yeah. Tell her that I'm Jordy and Rebecca.
May I come and join you at your table? Would that be okay? I'd like to share with you a trick. It uses uh, a 50 pound note, one of the largest currency notes available in this country. With my sleeves rolled up, guys, with nothing in my hands, we can get a shot of this on the screen. I'm gonna change this 50 pound note into the much rarer, infinitely more valuable, Bank of Britain's Got Talent, 50 pound note. No way. Now you can see we've got, we've got our head of state, Mr. Simon Cowell, we've got our beautiful princesses, of course, our queen. Uh, so, <laughs> for you to keep, don't spend it all at once. Guys, I don't want you to feel left out. So I brought along some more cash for you, but I know, I know deep down, you don't really want one of these. You'd much rather have one of those bank of Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> one for each of you to keep. Oh, I love that. Thank you very much. What? Thought I'd finish with a trick using a picture that I've drawn. Um, it's a self-portrait. That's me. This is where we are. Britain's Got Talent. You see, most magicians at this point would ask one of you to reach in and take a card. I'm not going to do that. Instead, if I may, I'm just going to ask each of you one question. David, if I may start with you. So if I could ask you to choose a colour, red or black, whatever you say is what we will use. What colour would you like? Black. Black. Alicia, the black cards are split into two suits. We have uh, the spades, we have the clubs. Again, if I could ask you to choose, whatever you want is what we will use. Clubs. Clubs, fantastic. Amanda, I need you to choose a value for me. What would you like? Nine. Nine, the nine of clubs. Simon, you're the boss. I'm going to give you the chance, if you like, to stick with the nine of clubs, or you can overrule all of the other judges, and you can choose <laughs> any other card that you like. What would you like? Seven of hearts. The seven of hearts. OK. Guys, there is no way I could know that you would choose the Nine of Clubs. There's no way I would know if you would overall, and if you would, what you would change to. You'll agree I haven't touched these. What I didn't tell you is that I've also drawn on the back of every single other card in this deck. Do you remember those cartoon flip books where you flick through and the little man comes to life? Check this out. You see our magician. He takes off his hat. He reaches inside. He pulls out just one card, ladies and gentlemen, not just any card, it's the Seven of Hearts. I want you guys to have an idea of the kind of stuff we're going to be doing. So Amberlynn is going to go out into the crowd here. She's going to be careful. She's got a pair of scissors in her hand. She doesn't want to run with them. She's bringing them over to Howie, actually. Uh, Howie, if you could do me a favor and take a look at those scissors. Make sure they open and close. Make sure they're a regular pair of scissors. Bang them on the table. Make sure they're made of metal. Feel the metal part, make sure it's real. It's Perfect. Real. Hand them back to Amberlynn. Wow. Uh, Amberlynn is going to bring them back. That's just, we wanted you to ensure that this is real. You want the bald guy to ensure the scissors are real. Real scissors? Absolutely. Real scissors, perfect. Now this is a little bit strange, it's a little bit gross. Uh -oh. We're gonna start this out. Real scissors? Oh, no. Real nose. I didn't, oh. uh, calm down, I didn't do it yet. I didn't do it. Real scissors, real nose, check it out. That's not the gross part, that's not the gross part. Howie did just have him in his hand. Not the first time they've been in my nose, Howie. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That's, that's not the gross part either. That's not the gross part either, watch. Ah. Lord, help him. That's how you get the nose hairs at the very back. Oh my god. Check it out. Oh, Daddy oh. Jesus. Here we go. <laughs> That's not the gross part either, watch. <sighs> if licking snot off of scissors is wrong, I don't want to be right. That's all I'm saying. Don't try that at home. Now that's just one way to clear out the sinuses. We're going to show you guys something kind of weird. I cannot watch this. No! Something kind of intense with this meat hook. I can tell by the look on some of your faces, you're already thinking, where is he going to stick that? Ladies and gentlemen, we call it the human wheat head. Howie, did you want to take a look at that? Whoa, Make sure I don't want to see anything. <laughs> you learn from your mistakes. That's good to see. Ladies and gentlemen, this meat hook is 15 inches long. It's 3 eighths of an inch thick. It's solid steel, sharpened on one end with a handle on the other side. This is going to get a little bit weird, a little bit sick. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take it up a notch. No! 
Your dressing room, they've hung the star. Let's go on with the show. Oh, my God, he's gone. The night show, people may smile. something very special and different. Ever since Tommy and I got on the show for the first time, people have been coming up to me saying, it must be great to always know what your boyfriend is thinking. Well, it's not always that great. <laughs> but tonight, for the first time, you are going to feel how this is. Uh, can we lift up the board? We started very simple. We lived in a small apartment, but we always kept a bowl of jelly beans on the table. Our favorite sweets because they come in all flavors and colors. Amelie, look away. Simon, pick one jelly bean, anyone. Thank you. Give it to me. <laughs> um. Tommy, you're tasting something like, mm, it's sweet, it tastes like berry, it was the purple one. It is berry, was it the purple one? It was. It was. Heidi, your turn. Take out a different one. Cool. You are going to eat it. Amelie? Heidi, you taste something different. I sense bubble gum. It was the pink one. Is that correct? The pink one? It bubble was. gum. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Heidi. It was. Melby, I have the feeling you have a sweet tooth. So I want to take you as many jelly beans as you like. We'll do that very fair. Amelie, look away. MLB, take the scoop. Take the glass in the other hand. And you can add scoops into the glass. Half scoops, full scoops, just a few, whatever you like. 
How are you? How are you tonight? I'm very good. How very are you? Very good. I'm good. Oh, what would be your dream flavor for a jelly bean? Oh, Mel B. M Mel B. <laughs> it's kind of a, it's kind of okay. a spicy chocolate. <laughs> a spicy chocolate Mel B. Excellent. Very sad. Uh, <laughs> Mel B, you're happy? Or you add some more. Yeah. You can add some more if no, you like to. This is perfect for me. So there's still some left for us. Thank you so much. Um, cover the glass with one hand. Put the other hand on top. Amelie, we are ready. So we all agree that no one knows how many jelly beans are inside this glass, right? But our brain is a curious thing. And somewhere in there, you probably you already know Melby. Okay, Amelie, find it. I want you to look into my eyes, Melby. Your mind seems to be very busy at the moment. Relax. Somewhere I sense the jelly beans already. And I'm sure that you have 22 jelly beans inside this glass. You can remove the hands. 22, are you sure? I'm sure. 22 jelly beans. Okay, that's very fair. Put all the jelly beans on the tray. Push them all to one side. There's nothing left in the glass, right? And count one by one, bean by bean, loud, so everyone can hear it. Three, four, five, six, six. seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 21, 21, 22 jelly beans! Thank you! These are all yours! Wait a second! Can we have the board, please? I have to apologize because maybe we were not completely honest with you. You thought we were reading your minds, but no. Remember, at the beginning, Amelie was standing next to the chalkboard. She said, it will be different tonight. We were not reading your minds. Tonight, we were controlling your thoughts. This board has hanging in full view the entire time. Whatever has been written on it cannot be changed. Amelie, Simon will pick a purple jelly bean. No. Heidi will select the bubblegum one and Mel B will have exactly 22 jelly beans. Yes. Oh, P.S. We hope they'll release spicy chocolate jelly beans very, very soon. soon. <laughs> the clairvoyance. They got everything. Oh, you're doing bad! 